problem with this one is a lot of people know what it is. The other thing I do from here is I do what's called the near side of the escape. Near side means our nearest to him. So I'm going here, let's say Chris has a tight wizard, he's driving into me. As he drives, I go and let I let you pass. And I love when people pass my guard. I just Here, let's say I'm doing, I'll even do everything real, real basic. So I'm doing the wrong side. This is the wrong half guard. I'm digging the underhook. I just keep my hand close to my chest, right? As I open my half guard, Chris passes. <laughs> Super easy, right? I, I'm sorry, I'm just trying to go over the other stuff first because that's actually how I would teach it to my students. But I, I just want you guys to understand, see how everything, I'm not fighting Chris's power now, right? He fought me one way, I'm going to allow him to go ahead and move. In essence, I'm allowing him to go ahead and move himself out of position. You're driving in, I took away what he wants to control this part of my body, and now I have my escape. As long as this arm's underneath, this arm's underneath, I'm going to pop out. You guys see how that works for these? So again, that's why sometimes it's funny when I do this, I'll be in full guard. And let's say I have a guy, you know, I just, I can't work with him, you know what I mean? I'm doing all kinds of stuff. He's just great arms, you know, I'm peppering him in the ears. He does not want to get submitted by me. He's just, you know, it happens to me all the time. I want to last for so long in the nearest guard, you know? So like, I, there's no game here, right? I'm trying to elbow him, you know, so I'm doing all this stuff. But because we're training, he doesn't care that I'm doing this, you know what I mean? Um, so I'll go ahead and put my hands here, and I do this. So most guys go ahead and they take the bait. Go ahead and pass. There's that arm. <laughs> <laughs> They're cool.